Holy moly, and at least part of the mystery came to an end just last night, guys, as all heck broke loose in the timeline. Tons of pros mind blown, tons of fans and viewers mind blown at the Thieves roster change that, yes, all stemmed from a mystery involving Hook and the Dallas Empire. Someone we talked about last year taking a $100,000 pay cut to make that Empire roster happen at one point has now been let go. And once he was benched, a lot of other people were concerned, right? What is the mystery behind this Hook benching? Well, it seems that that mystery doesn't matter too much when you have now joined the LA Thieves. The LA Thieves, by the way, who have now made the most roster changes in the CDL this season, besides, I believe, the London Royal Ravens, who, yes, they had some tremendous issues early on in the season. But despite that, though, when it comes time for a team that has been on the rise, has been making improvements, they have continued to do so despite taking down Optic this past weekend in a very, very close series at that, uh, before that as well, uh, against FaZe they have now made more changes which yes to a lot of people is very shocking as seemingly out of nowhere it was tj halley taking to twitter to say i've been benched by the thieves good luck to them looking forward to the future and if you look at the replies everyone pretty shocked by this a few which are mind blown and most saying he will definitely be back sometime soon even a guy like formal was mind blown for his boy that being tj to which later hastro did confirm that being the fact that hook was not only benched and let go but he would be going to 100 thieves as he said for almost five years kyler was a staple here at envy in the dallas empire i love and appreciate this kid and he knows that hopefully you all know that team chemistry changes but that doesn't mean you can't love and respect all the ingredients congrats 100 thieves you got a gem and you look at it beginning of the season temp is gone maybe not so many people surprised by that one but currently on your bench for the la thieves you have slasher and now tj kenny the only remaining starting member from your core roster to start the season I mean, this to me was, was very shocking. Some might say was the wrong move, but how can you complain about getting to someone like a hook? We'll talk about Nate Shot's response here in a second. I mean, if there's anyone to replace on this roster with, can you, can you really complain ab about a guy like Hook, who very well could be a legacy player? I, I don't know. It's just crazy to me that LA Thieves are so much for winning. They think they should be a contender. They should be winning titles so much so. You have Slasher and TJ on your bench and that to me shows how much they want to win can those guys uh, that being kenny that being who can they pull along the young guns and finally turn around some wins i i respect the fact they want to win so much they can put those kind of names on the bench but yes you're left feeling bad for people like slasher and tj will they find teams for the remainder of this season nade shot now taking to twitter about sometimes this is the, the tough side of business right a former pro himself now an owner and he's got to he's got to be a part of these choices to make which cannot be easy as he said been trying to think of the right words after today's announcement of hoot joining la thieves but i just can't seem to get it straight in my head so here's what i'll say roster changes are tough especially when it's moving on from players who are your friends and clearly have enough talent to compete on a starting roster today it just sucks plain and simple at the end of the day you just try and make right decisions based off the information that's in front of you and hope it works out a great day but sad as well I hate this crap sometimes. He continues later on, finally with some new words. Hook is a generational FPS talent. He will go down as a top 10 player all time when everything is said and done. I truly believe that. When a player like that becomes available, you do whatever it takes to sign him. So excited to have him here at the LA Thieves. And it truly shows you. When you have to do that to friends, I mean, yeah, sometimes you bring in friends, but it's, it's a tough shoe to fill, but you gotta be in those shoes. Sometimes you got to make those tough choices. I am sure people like temp and slasher and TJ and all others will land on their feet But it won't be at LA thieves this season who have now brought on hook and it it's got to be reassuring to have someone like Nade shot say you're gonna be a top 10 all time. You are a longevity. You are a legacy player. That's got to be really reassuring for me. When I see all of this go down, I think back to things we have talked about that have been very heavily talked about here on this channel. That being the beef between Envy and 100 Thieves. That stems across a couple of esports. That being Hastro versus Nade Shot. Those guys have had their back and forth. Some that we have talked about just this season. But when it comes down to business. They can make it happen. They can put that aside. They can make the move. They can make Hook happy because he can't be at the Empire. And Hastro is willing to sell him. And yeah, probably got a good price. But he is willing to let him go to a competitive team that he has some beef with. 
And, and I love that. At the end of the day, I really true love that. And this Hook move has been a heck of a mystery for a lot of people. And it's it's not only began with a mystery of Hook, you know, was it comms? Was it what happened on the mini map? Was it Krim? Was it a team choice? Was it Hastro? All of that comes down to, well, who the heck knows? And then it comes down with a with a TJ benching, which at first everyone was like, what the heck? It's just, it's weird. Best of luck to all the players involved out there. Welcome Hoop to the LA Thieves. And let's see if they can start winning, huh? Until next time. Hope you guys all enjoy. I'll be back here all day long. Thank you for watching. All right? Take care of yourselves. I'll see you back here sometime soon.